Hey, what's up, you guys? I did a water exchange and moved uh, the newt cage into my bedroom so I can watch them more often. Um, but he's going crazy. But yeah, I changed all the water out. It's kind of murky. Um, but I have a little makeshift filter back there with that, like, black kind of spongy stuff uh, that comes in filters for biofiltration and then I have where is it where is it that type of foam uh, it's just really squishy to my foot um, it's really squishy and has really good like filtration um, so that's my little makeshift filter um, no carbon cuz um, I don't really like using carbon, but I've got to get these guys in there because they're going crazy. But yeah, just a little about the newts. Um, this one is probably the fatty of the group. She will eat one after the other after the other, and good grief. And um, I think she's about to lay some eggs. So I'm not really sure what to do about that because uh, these are, well, this is my first time breeding. Well, I didn't really try to breed them. I just thought, hey, maybe they'll do it by themselves. But, yeah, this might be my first time having little babies. But I'm not sure, so don't send me any PMs yet because um, I've already been through that with all the Jackson's chameleons. And they didn't have any babies, so. Then, this one is probably the anorexic one. She will not eat, um, but when you look away, she'll probably snatch a small worm. Um, but yeah, she's kind of the anorexic. And then, here's the normal. He's the male. So he's just kind of, like... Small, medium, large. He, he, he. And then here's the gray tree frog that's been jumping everywhere. Um, this one is just kind of a sentimental thing um, because my grandma found it and her husband was just diagnosed with cancer. I'm not really sure what stage it is, but um, they're going to start the radiation soon. So she just really wants me to keep this. She just really wants me to keep this frog for her. She named it Jeffriette. So, um, I'm probably going to get some more gray and green tree frogs just to go in here. Nothing too expensive. Um, these guys, I don't really see why people buy, like, so expensive, um, frogs if they act exactly the same. Like, I can understand about looks, but just if they have, like, red eyes or gray eyes, I don't really care, care about that too much. It's a frog. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to put these in here. It's their 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra with a bunch of foam stuff that I made for them. These two just want to go together. <laughs> Come on. Watch, he'll jump. Come on. Yay. Um, but yeah, there they are. Hope they like the... <laughs> it fell. I hope they like the water being a little bit higher. Um, I kind of overfilled it. So now it's like up to here instead of down here. Um, but paddle tail newts are usually fully aquatic pretty much. Um, he already wants out. But yeah, I have a few branches for the tree frog to um, climb on. And one day when I was looking at him... Uh, I was looking in the little tree trying to find the frog, and I found one of the newts up there. So the newts like to climb in trees occasionally. 
but yeah, here's their new cage. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah, any improvements that you want me to make, that would be pretty helpful. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will do a care video on paddle tail newts in the cup in a couple of days. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you like it.